Hello everyone. We will continue our case study for sales order report. And in the previous video, we understood that yes, if by passing the duplicate in entries or by passing the unique entries, if you are getting a result, same result, please, please delete the adjacent duplicates. So we sorted the internal table and we deleted the adjacent duplicates and it will highly, highly improve the performance because rather than going for billion, trillion duplicate entries and we are asking SAP to consider this duplicate, consider this duplicate, just go for unique entries. It will drastically improve the performance. Now we will go for second point. And the second point is specially, specially applicable to the description tables in which table we are storing the descriptions. Suppose simple example. What is MAKT table? MAKT table is material description table. Suppose if I will show you this table, you can see this MAKT is material description table. We have two primary keys, material number and language, language. We all know SAP is a multilingual software. It is available in multiple languages. Suppose if I will go to this table, I'm going for same to same in. Suppose I'm saying 42 and 134. If I'm executing this, have you seen for 42 and 134, language is English. Language is English. And what is the description? Steel and iron. Do you think in German language also it is called as steel? In German language also it is called as iron. Suppose we have a Japanese customer. Is in the Japanese language also we call it as steel? Is in Japanese language also we call it as iron? No. Yes, it is never, never the case. As of now, yes, that description is only in English language. So there is no problem. Just think if we have the descriptions maintained in multiple languages, then what? Suppose I will simply go for suppose 42 and show you the clarity. We all know we can change a material through MM02 transaction code. MM01 to create, MM01 to create, MM02 to change, MM03 to display. This is always the practice. VA01 to create sales order, VA02 to change sales order, VA03 to display sales order. Suppose I'm going for 42 material. If you see this material, as of now, that description is only, only in English. If I will go to additional data, you can see as of now, we have only English language. Suppose I want to go for German language also because we have a Japanese customer also. We have a German customer also. So suppose in German language, steel is called as ST. Okay, now I'm going for sale. Suppose same thing, I will go for 134 material also. So that you can understand, yes. Now I will go for 134. Same to same description I will maintain in German language for 134. Suppose in German language, iron is called as IR. I will say. Now if you see this table, now we do not have two entries. We have four entries now, four entries. So we have text in German also, material description in German also, material description in German also. Just think, if I'm a person who only, only knows English language, will these two records are relevant for me? No. 
if i only only knows german language will this two english record are relevant for me it's not at all relevant for me so whenever the customer who knows english will run the program this will be visible whenever the customer who knows german which will be visible these two will be visible but just see as of now as of now in our query in our query all four records will come not two records will come okay suppose if i will show you now suppose for the best understanding i will take language so you can get a full clarity i am going for language what is the language field important and it is highly highly recommended yes especially whenever we have the language because why why unnecessary we should go for all languages data suppose i took language also now i am fetching language also we are not displaying just to show you the clarity i am going for activity previously we have only english language but this is not in the real project we have the customers from different different countries suppose i will put a break point directly here and i will show you now we will not get two records we will get four records i eq i will put same to same date 23rd august i will execute now we have four records in this we moved to temporary internal table we sorted and deleted now you can see we have two unique records previously we have data only only in the english language so we got only two records in this english language now what is the input what is the input for the makt table lt tam vb ap matena lt tam vb ap matena what are the matenas 42 134 42 134 will go to matena column of makt table it will fetch the data of these three column and data will come into this internal table and have you seen we have how many records now four records german records are also coming but i am only logged in into english language so these two records are irrelevant for me totally totally irrelevant just think if 42 material number is maintained in all the 26 languages just see at that time we will get 26 records for a particular material and out of that which one is relevant for me only one is relevant for me so i do not require this i do not require this so what we need to do in that case at that time in the wear condition we will go for a additional wear condition and you all know what is the additional wear condition language language if i will just execute and show you highly highly important point and we should use that whenever we you, you know that you have a language specific data i will write and spras is equal to sy language what is sy language it is a system field for the language language now along with material you are passing language also as a wear condition if i logged in into english what is this variable value english if i logged in into german what is the variable value german german just see how it will work if i will show you through table itself makt previously we are only only giving 42 and 134 as a input these two only 
So have you seen? We are getting four records. Now, along with this matinar, now we are passing language also. Now I'm saying go for system language. What is system language? English. Have you seen? I'm getting how many record? Two records. If I know I'm a German, I know German only. So what is the Psi language? Psi language will be German. So how many records we are getting? Two records. Just see how, how we are getting a restricted data only. Why we should go for unnecessary huge amount of data? So just whenever you have a description table, check. Can you pass the language? Yes, because once you restrict based upon the language, only language specific records will come. And once the topic will proceed, it will help us in avoiding the nested loops also. This condition will highly help us. We can avoid loop also at that point of time. If I will show you in the debugging mode, now, we will not get four records. We will get two records. I'm running. I will give the creation date. EQ. Date is 23rd August. Now I will execute. Now I will simply, simply execute this query. You can see two records will act. Now I will delete also. So these two will act as a input and along with this, we are passing language also. Previously, we are getting four records. Now you have you seen, we are getting English language records. So just always go for this point. So what is the summary of this video? Whenever you see description table and the language field is there, yes. And customer bought the records of that particular language only. Just pass a where condition where language is equal to psi by language because it will highly, highly reduce the number of records because why we should unnecessarily go for those records which are not required for us. So in the next video now, we will see how we can merge these three internal table because next video is important in what sense because people ask so many queries because they don't know which one should go for loop, which one should go for read table. So in the next video, I will explain that part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.